that's a bluegill. You can see his, uh, see the blue on his belly, on his gills. <clears throat> His red breast. Uh, May and June, they start coming in to, to uh, spawn and they'll come into shallower water. And while they're in there, they're just concentrated in, in uh, uh, a smaller area and there's just more fish in a smaller area and it makes it, you know, you just, it's just a lot better fishing. And then you get a lot of the bigger ones. Uh, that's about the only time that the red ear come in. The red ear normally stay in deeper water, and the red ear are just a great fish. They, they really get big. Bluegill fishing, uh, I don't know why more people don't do it, but uh, there are a lot of lakes in Oklahoma. The, this is a, a good one. Beggs is a good one. Uh, Bixhoma uh, has been a good lake. Out west, American Horse. Uh, Canton produced a state record last year. I don't, I don't remember, uh, or a lake record. Almost ten and a half like inches. A pound and three quarter. Uh, just a huge bluegill. Yeah. You know they've got that lake record program now. People that normally would catch what they call perch, and you get into a deal like this where all of a sudden they catch a, a ten and a quarter inch uh, red ear or, or ten inch bluegill, and they say, "My gosh, I had no idea that they were that." that big and yeah, big then you get into the fly rod and there's just a lot of action on it and it's uh, a it, yeah it's converted them especially right now with the high water on a uh, mountain fork it's completely blown out and uh, they're not going to have any fishing down there for some time then you turn around and, and you've got uh, uh, the lower Illinois River they've been running water so the, our trout fishing is just is gone for right now and this is still available I went Ah, yeah, I'll put him back. <laughs>